how to get connected, how to get connected. Now, the first thing I want to share with each and every one of you is what is connection? What, what is connection? Every one of you, every one of you have been connected. And what connection is in my definition, I know a lot of people have a lot of definitions to almost every word, but connection for me is not a thing, it's a feeling. It's not a thing, it's a feeling. And so what a lot of people want to do is whether you watch somebody sing a song, uh, Craig, I, maybe you should, if you would, post that in there. Uh, Craig shared uh, uh, an audio with me uh, about, I think it was, you know, uh, Britain's talent or whatever. And as you're watching this, it, it chokes you up. It's see the first thing I think about being connection connected is willing to admit that you have a heart, that you have a soul, that that you know there's there's feelings that you feel that you can't understand. Um, there's no language. There's no language for you to properly express in words to tell people how you feel. And it might have been, you know, something that you watched on TV or something that you seen in a movie or again, someone singing, uh, maybe it was a book, but all through life, I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. Everyone that watches this video live or recorded is if I could bring it back to your uh, memory, <clears throat> every one of you has had experiences, experiences that made you connected. And one of these that was recently out there that was pretty powerful is people that watched the solar eclipse. And so I was blessed to have it close enough to me where I was able to take, you know, Matt and Hannah and Terry and, and uh, and Kyle, and we drove a few hours to be right in the center. I, I think they call that the epicenter, but right in the total path or the path where there's a hundred percent solar eclipse. And as we watched that, I know everyone felt something they hadn't felt before. That's it. The hardest thing about connection for people is they don't know how to explain it. They just know that they want it. And so sometimes when we're with an individual or we might be playing a, a, a video game, uh, we might be uh, doing something uh, that we really enjoy, you know, maybe, you know, fishing or, or hunting or doing some kind of sport. Because another thing that they always call this is there's a movie that me and my family watched together called Soul and by Pixar. And, uh, you know, it, a lot, some other people call it the zone, right? And, you know, how you get into that place, I was just sharing with Joshua Daramella um, that, um, you know, I showed the Imaginators. Uh, yesterday I was on with them and we showed a video of a guy throwing a rock. He threw a rock and skipped it across the water. All right? And all he could say that really made any sense when people asked him how he did it, he said, there's this mystery. There's this, you know, in, in the attempt to master this and continue to get gooder and gooder that he set a, a world record, Guinness Book of World Record. And then his next goal is to do that again, to beat his own personal record. And so I believe that the record is 88 skips, 88 times the rocks skipped across the water. And so when someone asked him to explain it, uh, we just come up with a bunch of stuff that doesn't matter. 
<clears throat> well, you need to do this and you got to write your goals on blue index cards with, with blue ink and, and you got to meditate and see once we try to explain to people what connection is and how to get connection, that's why everybody goes, that doesn't make any sense. I'm not interested. Right? So what I said to Joshua that I want to share with all you guys, and I'm dedicating this to Joshua, is that if you constantly are seeking things that you get to see and hear, maybe even sometimes maybe smell or taste or touch, if we use our personal senses to watch other people in that zone, in that connection. What I've been telling people recently is I, I, there's probably not too many people on the planet that doesn't know what that is. You know, that's an ether cable on how to hardwire in and be connected. And so if anybody, any one of you has ever purchased anything, <laughs> listen to this, it was somebody's ability to be able to connect with something in you. So maybe you have, you know, they call it struggle, you know, struggle bus, or, you know, I feel like I'm stuck. I feel like, I feel like I, I don't have hope. Um, there's something wrong with me. I'm not enough. I'm not worthy. All of these things come from a lack of being connected a lack of being connected. And so when my mentor met me, you can hear when people are disconnected. All you got to do is shut up and listen to them because they're going to tell you their excuse story. They're going to tell you, I don't have enough time. I don't have enough money. I'm not very technical. Um, um, you know, I'm not a people person. I'm ugly. Uh, I don't have a good sounding voice. Um, I always grew up on the, so, so part of it is excuse. The other one is they're telling their trauma story or their victim story. So, you know, well, this happened to me. I was dyslexic and I got taken away from my parents telling my story. Then I hung around in the wrong people and, and uh, you know, I ended up spending some time in a federal prison uh, for stealing a beer truck for a party. <laughs> you can go to robertholliscom forward slash free or go to Amazon or Audible. And I have this book. Uh, I'd like to give you a PDF copy of it for free. And um, people taught me how to be connected. I did not know that I was disconnected. So the other one is the blame game, right? All right. So it's my parents' fault. It's it's uh, the government's fault. It's it's uh, my boss's fault. It's my company's fault. You know, it, all these things that are out of my control. You know for a fact when you're disconnected because you have no solutions to change it. So in marketing, all you got to do is find people's pain. Find people's pain, their story they're telling themselves. Like, you know, it's not going to work for me and I can't do this and I can't do this. All you got to do is find their pain and then tell them that you have a solution for them. If they just bought your course or if they just bought this training or if they just got involved in this opportunity. <clears throat> but a person that's not connected is going to get into something, believing that that's it, buying a piece of exercise equipment. And then if you're not connected and connection builds your imagination, if you don't have imagination that heightens your excitement of the future, you're not going to go into action. So you're not going to use the course. You're not going to uh, go into action to learn to get good enough to skip a rock for 88 times. In fact, 
a majority of people would go, I'm not interested in throwing rocks. All right, then what are you? What does excitement? What does give you joy? See, how to find that is very easy when you're connected. So when I met my mentor, he could hear my stinking thinking coming out of my mouth. You know, not only complaining about everything, but also complaining about people. Just this constant complaining about ah, this sucks and people suck and job sucks and government sucks and just everything sucks. Um, yeah, that's not a good place to be. And I've been there many times in my life. So the goal is, is all my mentors said is let me get you connected. You know what I mean? Let me, let me show you what my mentor told me to read and get that moment in your life. You know, so the biggest thing that I'm seeing right now is we love watching people have moments. We love watching people. Sometimes we love watching people disconnected. I think you already know. I don't have to explain when you can watch a show and you see people that are disconnected. And the reason that that drama and those shows are so important to us is because we get to say, man, I'm sure not that messed up. I'm sure I, I'm, I don't have it that bad. See, watching other people in reality shows or movies that are going through struggles in life, resistance in life, because they're not connected, right? Makes us understand that at least our, at least our life's not that bad. It gives us just a little reflection of going, holy crap, at least that ain't happening to me. And that might not sound like gratitude, or appreciation, but it is, man, thank God. People might not even believe in God. And they go, oh my God. <laughs> or they go, man, <clears throat> thank God that my life is not as bad as that. So then what's the difference between your life being better than a lot of people on the planet and other people that are living heaven on earth right now. See, why are some people in the world right now living their best life ever? No despair, no worry, total freedom. They're just more connected to you. So the lowest people are on like really weak uh, Wi-Fi, really weak signal, and it keeps dropping makes you very frustrated, makes you very pissed off. And then you see other people that are totally connected. Guess what I do every day? I skip rocks. What? I stack plastic cups. I throw darts. Isn't it amazing when you see other people that are living their best life? I don't know how much is going bad right now for Caitlin Clark, <laughs> her jersey, her 22 jersey for just getting drafted, excuse me, to Indiana. Her jersey sold more jerseys than all of the Dallas Cowboys players. <whistles> yeah, that's that's someone in the zone. And if you watched her play or you're probably one of those people like that, that don't like to give uh, flowers and praise and recognition for watching someone in the zone, you know, you're sick and tired of hearing about Taylor Swift breaking every record that's ever been broken. It's like, I think she had 300 million people download one of her songs on her album in 24 hours, 300 million downloads in 24 hours. 
See, it's like, oh my God, I'm sick and tired of hearing about Taylor Swift winning. Right? There's a lot of people winning in life right now. You know, LSU, they just won their very first uh, national championship for gymnastics. You know, the NBA playoffs are happening. Michael Jordan, yesterday I watched him. He got into NASCAR. And Tyler Reddick, one of his drivers with his Jumpman logo on the side of the car and the hood of the car, Michael Jordan won a race, the Talladega race with one of his drivers. Yeah, there's people winning all over the place. And that's where I spend all of my time connecting is I get connected by being inspired of watching other people being connected, watching them in the zone, watching them winning. Because watching people winning is what makes me click. It makes me feel better than watching two women fight and flip a table over. So I'm just constantly. So, you know, last night I watched 60 Minutes. I watched 60 Minutes and I watch, uh, you know, Good Morning on Sunday. You know, they have a tendency of running some positive stuff. I don't watch the negative stuff. And they had Kevin Hart on there. And Kevin Hart was talking about this, this situation that happened where he's doing all these, he's, he talked about, you know, doing c comedic stuff in, in um, strip joints, little rooms everywhere. He's practicing being a stand-up comedian. And all of a sudden he does well enough where they were going to give him his own sitcom. And so they prepare for this sitcom and then he tells the story about, yeah, right before it started, this guy holding a curtain, the curtain guy, Barry. <laughs> uh, all of a sudden, it's like, uh, he says, hey, listen, I'll tell him, I'll tell him. And he looks at Kevin Hart and he said, well, they decided now they're, they're not going to do it. And Kevin Hart goes, there's people that I'll never meet that are total strangers that I'll never talk to that get to make decisions on whether or not I'm going to work with them. Nope. Nope. Rejection. Are you kidding me? These are people that don't believe I'm worth it. I don't need your approval. I don't need your approval. I'm going to get connected. I'm going to use my imagination that if other people can have that imagination, so can I. And if they can do it, I can do it. How did they do it? Well, all they did is reach out to people, build a relationship and get them connected. Will a majority of the people not be interested? Yeah. That it, it wouldn't be worth. Will you listen to me? Freedom. Freedom and making more money than the average person. It wouldn't be worth anything if everybody did it. Listen. Money and freedom means a lot to people that went to work and made it happen, got connected, and then look for other people to get them connected. The people that do connect, the people that will watch the videos or listen to the book and get connected and they go, you know what? I like the way this feels. This feels better than what I used to feel. Those are the ones that want to follow you. Those are the ones that want to be connected to a group and a community of people that give a shit. This is not for the people that are complacent. This is not for people that don't want to do something for other people. The way to greatness is the service of many. Everything that happens on this planet is done because of other people. 
other people and their imagination. You drive a car because of some people's imagination. And then those people had to find other people that shared in that imagination. That ain't all. Got a car, got to have freeways, got to have streets. Someone's imagination. They put the streets together. Where are you going to drive to? Going to go eat? Go get some food? Going to go to a movie? Going to go to your job? Somebody else's imagination. Somebody else's imagination that got connected. You want to hear something that will shock people and no one wants to admit it? That every successful company on the planet, if you have a job, that pays you Monday through Friday. There's a group of people that figured out how to get other people to buy it. So you got 90% people that make the product, uh, people that do research and development, people that do customer service, people that do accounting, people that do law. There's all these people that are employed from a company because a certain percentage of them are connected and willing to share that imagination with others and those people buy it. There's still people with no imagination when it comes to electric cars. There's still people with no imagination that won't build a following on, on YouTube. There's still a group of people that show up nine to five to work with somebody for somebody because of somebody else's imagination. So I just had mentors that said, you can work for people that are imaginators or you can become an imaginator. See, the person that has the most influence over a group of people that know, like, and trust them are the people that impact the world. And some people would rather just not participate in the thing called living. See, most people just want to exist. They just want to exist doing as little as possible. And that's it. No connection, all complaining, struggle bus, living paycheck to paycheck with no imagination, no dreams, not interested in helping a freaking person, including the people that are in their family. Those are not my tribe. Those are not my tribe. Some of them that live there currently that hate their existence. They don't like any area of their life and they're trying to figure out how to get out of it. I can help those people just the way my mentor helped me. So if you could have seen me 38 years ago, there's not one of you that watched this live or recorded that would want to be my friend. Because I was one of those individuals that when you were around me, I didn't make you feel better. I made you feel worse. Do you know any people like that? You know, the know-it-alls, the right fighters, the, you know, telling you how much you suck when they sort of suck? Yeah, I used to... I used to be like the leader of that group. <laughs> you know, I, I was like the modern day Robin Hood when I was young. It's like, seriously, rob from the rich and give to the poor. Just the most naive, right fighter, know-it-all, ego. Ah, disgusting. But... Things didn't go my way and I got humbled and I got hurt on the job and I lost my income and now I'm on workman's comp and I don't have electricity and uh, all my stuff is taken away because I'm not paying the payments on it and I'm putting a pawn loan uh, on a car that I can't make payments on and I got an eviction notice on my door and um I'm chasing everyone away. I, I've unfortunately been there three times, four times. 
And then I had to learn to get back out of there. And the only way I could get back out of there is <clears throat> to start listening to people that really had life going on. And then, then all of a sudden it clicked on me. It like, wow, the best times in my life were times when I was connected. I need to get that back, whatever that is for me, whatever that is for you. But we're pretty simple as human beings. You know, garbage in, garbage out. And, and so if I put good in, I got good out. And I thought, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I need to start doing that, that I need to start showing up different in life. And I have to raise my standards and, um, I got to learn to be proud of myself again. I got to learn to love myself again. And so then I started connecting with people that knew how to do that. And they had evidence of doing that for other people. That's what you need to look for. Current, current evidence of somebody radically impacting somebody else's life. Someone that you can personally talk to. Because marketers are smart. They can create the illusion that what you need is what they have. But yet they don't have current evidence of someone that they put in a better place. Because people make that decision on their own. See, they wake up and go, I, I just can't live like this anymore. And that's when they ask for help. And that's when they start looking for people that have the answers instead of believing that the answers are unexistent. See, it's pretty easy to look around the world and see that there's a lot of people winning. And if they can do it, why can't you do it? And if not you, then who? And if not now, then when? And if not this, then what? What? Do you know of another individual that's doing lives on a daily basis and probably putting 11, 12, 13 hours of content online that's not asking you for any money? So things don't work in life when you're not connected and you're not excited and you don't have any imagination. Because when you don't have any imagination and you're not excited, then you spend all your time imagining bad things. See, that's called worry. That's called fear. That's the opposite. That's now you're worrying, which is hallucination. Now we're so good that in our minds, we can actually make up stuff that is going to happen that hasn't happened yet. And if that happens, then this is going to happen. And then if this has happened, and this is going to happen. And then it ends up being a self-fulfilling prophecy because we honestly become what we think about the most. So if we're constantly thinking that the world's going to end and that I got to notify everyone that everyone sucks and, and people suck and everything sucks, it's like, wow, congratulations. Your wish is coming true. Do you really think that life is just that simple? It is. So I can turn the channel and feel really bad or turn the channel and feel really good. Pretty interesting. I can go on one podcast and I feel awful. Uh, World's going to end. AI is going to take us out. What's the use of even doing anything? Why even try to live? You know, I, I'm... I'm like, you know, there, what is there? Two groups, two kinds of thinking, right? If you knew that you only had 30 days left on this planet, sadly, 90% of those people would just give up. They would just give up. There's that 10% of people that I love hanging around that's going, man, if I got 30 days left in life, I'm going to go out in style, man. I am going to do as much as I humanly can do, as fast as I can do it. That's the people I love hanging around. Because once they do it, then all of a sudden you find out, oh, I'm sorry, we made the wrong diagnosis. What are you talking about? 
I don't know how we messed up the medical charts, but you're, you're, you're okay. There's nothing wrong with you. Oh, so now I can go back to just struggling and just living paycheck to paycheck and, and really not doing anything. Wow. And you were told that you were going to die. You actually stepped it into gear and you started living. Now you're okay. And now you're going to give up. That's bizarre, isn't it? I don't know. So if you don't know how to be connected, AI it, Google it. I just put out a set of videos that, uh, uh, what would I say to my younger self? You know, this book and other books have been out there for a long time. So me wishing that I got this book earlier, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I would have made up bullshit stories like, you know, I'm dyslexic. It's hard for me to read. Um, it probably won't do anything anyway. I've read books and took courses in the past and they didn't do anything. So screw that. So I wasn't ready. Are you? Are you ready to get connected? Are you ready to hang around a community of individuals that are learning to take their imagination to whole different levels? Are you looking for a community of inner circle people that know they don't know everything, but they want to hang around a bunch of people that all of us knowing a little bit about other stuff can make us all help each other that we all can learn to imagine and learn to connect. When you're ready, we'll be here. When you're ready, the wisdom's out there. Just when are you going to be sick and tired of being sick and tired? See, I'd rather learn from someone that believed that they knew the answers and attempt and fail instead of just not doing anything. So I love and appreciate you. I believe in you. Uh, if no one's giving you permission to be happy and fulfilled and successful, I'm giving that to you. We pour our hearts out on that, on our YouTube channel with videos to help you get there. But again, if you're not ready, you're not going to get the book or you're not going to watch a video. But if you know people that are constantly complaining, if you would just say to them, listen, are you serious about changing your life? Are you just complaining? Just, just bitching and complaining. No, 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 I'm serious. I'm serious. Well, I have an answer for you. And connect them with us. So please like the channel. Please subscribe. Please click the bell. Please share. Um, the way that your life can change and you can change the lives of the people that you care about is focusing on getting connected. Get tuned in to the right channel. Boom. Love you. See you on the next video. Bye for now.